Customary law is based on two elements, the practice and the opinion juris of states. The first element should normally be easier to establish, as it is an objective consideration, but it is necessary to demonstrate a general practice embracing the majority of states. The empirical difficulties of this task are compounded by the fact that only a few states make their practice public. However, it is even more difficult to prove the second element, the opinion juris of states. It is already difficult to prove the beliefs of individuals. Therefore, identifying the beliefs of abstract entities, such as states, raises numerous challenges. The ambiguity in the method of identifying customary rules of IHL raises a fundamental question. Who is empowered to identify custom? Frequently, the most important actors are courts. Customary IHL norms have been identified by judges at the national and international levels. At the international level, we may of course mention the International Court of Justice, which you can see just behind me. But we must also mention other international jurisdictions which play a very significant role in identifying customary IHL, the international criminal, criminal tribunals, and in particular, the ICTY. In addition to those tribunals, international arbitral tribunals have also played an important role in that respect. These tribunals are composed of judges, but the judges are chosen by the parties to the dispute. A good example of such a tribunal was the tribunal tasked with the adjudication of IHL violations committed during the conflict between Ethiopia and Eritrea, the Ethiopia-Eritrea Claims Commission. The Commission had to take decisions on the basis of customary IHL, because Eritrea had not ratified the Geneva Conventions and Additional Protocol 1 at that time and was therefore not bound by those conventions. However, it is important to remember that the decisions of courts only bind those who are party to the case. Judicial dis decisions are nevertheless important as they can provide important evidence for the identification of customary rules in future cases. Courts and tribunals are not the only institutions that have identified customary norms. Notably, the International Committee of the Red Cross carried out a major study on the issue that was concluded with the publication of its report entitled Customary International Humanitarian Law. This book established a list of all the customary rules that are claimed to apply to both international and non-international armed conflicts. Each rule, 161 in total, is followed by a detailed commentary. It involved many universities and took several years to be completed. So what's the authority of that book? It is true that the rules listed in the study are claimed to be customary on the basis of a significant amount of practice collected by the RCRC, which is published in the second volume. In addition, this study has been conducted at the request of states and in consultation with them. Finally, some of its rules have been incorporated by states in their national instruments and have been referred to by tribunals and fact fighting missions are being a correct understanding of current customary IHL. However, this study remains the work of the RCRC and so is not binding in itself. It is illustrative that as soon as it was published, its findings were rejected by several states. In other words, although being a major work on the content of customary IHL, Rules that are mentioned in the study 
are not necessarily part of that law.